Slow motion. Oh my god. Slow motion. Oh so my. soft, they're falling. <laughs> Look at that. Show. Look at this. Open guy. one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Let me see. <gasps> so soft. Go on bread, guys. Perfect. Look at that. Thickness. Softness. Mm. All right, so you want to start off with a half of a cup of lukewarm water. Then you want to add two tablespoons of sugar. Stir until the sugar is completely dissolved. Now let's take our active dry yeast and we're going to add two and a half teaspoons to the water. Stir. And let it set for about five minutes. As you can see, it's already rising and activating. In the meantime, let's add our flour to either your mixer or you can do it by hand. I'm gonna add four cups of flour into my mixer. Okay, once you have all your flour inside, let's go ahead and add our salt. You're going to add one and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna add our oil. You're gonna add a fourth of a cup. I like to turn on the mixer and let it have a go round real quick. Once it goes around just a little bit and mixes everything in, as you can see, the yeast is ready. We'll pour that in. In the same cup that you had the yeast inside, add another cup of lukewarm water, so one cup, and we will slowly add that a little bit at a time. Just keep repeating this process until all of your water is finished. As you can see, it's starting to, my lighting is not so good guys, sorry. It's starting to gather. It's getting there guys, just a little bit longer. In the meantime, while that's finishing, grab a large bowl like this one and spray it with some oil or whatever oil you have. You can just use that oil and then just wipe it around with your hand. All right, so it looks like our dough is finished. Let's take it out. When you're finished, it should look like this. It should be nice and soft. Now you'll take it and lay it gently in the bottom of this bowl that you have greased. Now I'll take my film and put over top. I just put a little bit of oil first. So in, when it rises, the dough doesn't stick. And then I'll flip it over and nicely seal it all the way around. I didn't have cling film today, guys. I ran out. And then I like to take a dishcloth as well to keep it dark and put it over top. And then we will watch it. And it should take about an hour to an hour and a half. And let's see, um, it should double in size. Once it doubles in size, then we'll go to the next part. All right. Our dough is ready, guys. It has doubled in size, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get it ready. Let's sprinkle some flour on our board or on your counter, wherever you're doing this at. Then we'll take our dough out. You want to compress some of that air out of there, like so. Don't do it too much, just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Now we'll take and cut our dough. Like so. Like 
like so. Again, across the side. Once you have them all cut like that in individual slices, you're just going to take them one piece at a time and we're going to roll them. I like to roll them up like this. It's kind of difficult to do this with only one hand, but <laughs> so you're gonna roll it like that and then you'll take your sides and just pull them around like that on both, pull them around until it forms a smooth ball in the front, like so. And then you'll just start rolling like this until you get a nice smooth round ball. Until you get a nice ball like that. In the meantime, we will grease our dish lightly, or should I say our baking pan. And then we'll just place it in our pan, like so. Continue the process for all the other ones. <laughs> Baby Lavish is trying to touch. Once you have your balls rolled and in the pan, I like to cover mine with a cloth. You can also use um, cellophane or plastic wrap. I just put my pan, because mine's a smaller pan, I put it over the cloth and then I take, and I damp, like it's damp. I don't wet it, but I just damp it. And then I just do this, like, so it's nice and tight and it doesn't sit on the top of the um, bread. And then I like to put it in my microwave and I let it sit in there until it doubles in size. It usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half. All right, our bread is almost fully risen. So let's go ahead and preheat our oven. We're gonna do 350. This time you can put either milk or egg on the top. Fresh what? bread. Oh my God. You came Let's... just in time. I'm about to put it in the oven. <gasps> Fresh going pound? Yes. Oh my God. You know how many people were asking for the recipe? I made it today. They're gonna be excited, boy. Yeah. All right. Wow, look. They're coming along just nice, guys. All right, guys, ready. Wow. Oh, my God. So fluffy, no? Oh. <laughs> and then guys look oh my god fresh bread now guys you just cover it and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes okay all right guys let's see what they look like let's break bread slow oh motion. my god slow motion oh so my. soft they're falling <laughs> look at that show sure. open guy. one oh my god Oh my god. Look at this. Let me see. <gasps> so soft. Go on bread, guys. Perfect. Look at that. Thickness. Softness. Mm. 